Hello YouTube, so I do a quick video here. Uh, I get uh, a few emails about uh, doing uh, videos. Uh, people will email and say, hey, can you do a video on this hardware or this program or how to make this interface board? So depending on how many emails I get on a particular item, um, then I will check into it. Now I've gotten a few emails on this Raspberry Pi Pico and making it be a repeater ID. Uh, there's the code is free, the schematic is free. Um, this can do two different ways. You can you can have it do a repeater ID every 15 minutes, no matter if the repeater is busy or not. And if you do it that way, you can use this with any radio, whether it's a handheld, whether it's a mobile or a repeater that has a data port. If the repeater does not have a data port, then you can just use a handheld or a mobile program that repeater frequency. This also has code so that it will only do the ID, I believe it was when the repeater is busy. I'd have to look again. But nevertheless, you can do it either way. Now the code is free and so is the schematic. Um, now. I'm more of a hardware guy, but I have done some programming when I was a young grasshopper. I've done some uh, Python. I've done some um, C++, uh, some DOS. Oh, geez, now I'm getting, now I'm saying how old I am. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm rusty at it. But lately, I've been programming some chips, and that came kind of came back to me. So maybe the Python will also come back to me. Now. If you're a really good with Python and you modify this script, please post a link in the comments that uh, for the new updated version. Um, the gentleman who made this made this available for free. Same with the schematic. So it'd be you know if you do change it, please post it in the comments. Now that brings me to the next question. I believe the email was asking me um, would I do a build video, meaning step by step, you buy your own hardware, um, I uh, show you step by step how to build this, the hardware, the software, how to uh, you know upload the uh, uh, script into the uh, uh, Raspberry Pico uh, and all that. I believe that's what he was trying to ask uh, when he sent th that email. Um, so if I get enough people interested, then I will do a build series step by step. Now either shoot me an email or post a comment in the comments below. Hey, I'm interested. And if I get enough people, I may go ahead and pursue this. Now I do have a lot of projects on, on my um, workbench right now. Uh, so hopefully over time, maybe perhaps I will... Uh, tackle that if there's enough interest. Now if you're new to this, a Raspberry Pi Pico is a computer. It, it comes with nothing on it. You got to upload a script um, to it to make it do whatever you want to do. This has been used in many, many different types of uh, uh, setups. Um, but we're going to be using it as a repeater ID. Also it does temperature and other announcements. And I'll kind of briefly show you that here in a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. And here is the script. This is all free. Like I said, the first thing I like to do is when I get someone that emails me a particular program, I like to see how old the program is. If it's really old, that means it's kind of, you know, it's, it's not being updated no more. Then I may not even do a video. But this looks like it's not that old. Looks like version 1 came out August 10th, 2022. It looks like it's been up. You know, some updates have been done 10 months ago, so that tells me that's not too old. I also see that the Pico must have a built-in temperature sensor because it can do temperature, and I'm going to assume I don't know if the temperatures come over the airwaves because this temperature as audio, so that's interesting too. Now this uh, particular one. A, uh, this was a ham version. We can modify the code to do uh, every 15 minutes. Here is what this gentleman did. Uh, here it is every 10 minutes. Like I said, it must have been a ham operator. We can change that to do every 15. Only ID only if the repeater is not in use. Um, again, we don't have to use that function. We can have an ID every 15 minutes um, if we choose to. It does do announcements along with 
Um, I, I believe it does the temperature, too, I'm going to assume. Um, you got to have an audio folder, and it looks like it uses a WAV file. The main is going to be the announcement file, and the main ID WAV is for the repeater ID. It being a WAV file, we can make it be either a Morse code or a short message or both. If you hook up a PC to this, here's the debug screen. Um, the schematic is free. Let's, I'm looking at that here. We'll look at that here shortly. Pinouts. Here's the author who made it, and there must be other ones that tweaked it. So, yeah, I think we can make this work with uh, GMRS. Um, I'm going to look at the schematic here in a minute, but we're going to check out this. This is supposed to have all the settings, so we can change this. Okay, here's the name of the folder, the audio, that can be changed. We can also change the name of the ID WAV file, otherwise you got to have it exactly like this. Okay, here, we can change that to 10, from 10 to 15. Maybe we can get fancy and have it be adjustable, use an external uh, switch of some sort or something. So that's a possibility. So... Let's go ahead and check out the schematic. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at what, what they did here. They have LEDs there on, tone, and ID. It looks like, okay, they, okay, they use a potentiometer. That's so that you can adjust the volume going into the radio so it's not distorted. So they use a potentiometer with a plug on it, and it looks like they use some, you know, not very many parts. Uh, this, okay, this must be for the LEDs on tone and ID plus side of the or plus side of the LED minus side of the LED. That's where the, these lights, because since they're running it to the um, metal box. So if you, yeah, okay, so that's what that is, right? You can see the wires. So that's for the LED. Okay, all right. It's not, you know, PTT. Okay, let's look at the schematic here quick. Again, if, if you are interested in doing, me doing a build video, they have a colored and black and white. Let's do colored. If you're interested in this, uh, post a comment or send me an email. I'll put my email address. I'm going to put all this uh, all these links in the description below. Uh, so you can have all this. And it looks like we got a voltage regulator, some capacitors, nothing too, uh, not much for parts. So, yeah, you know, we can definitely, I think we can modify this. And if you're really good with Python and you tweaked the script, please post that link in the comments for others to download. This gentleman was nice enough to have this be for free um, like I said it was for ham but we can easily modify it uh, to work with our GMRS um, the announcements I'm not sure I, I'll have to read all this but there is an announcement um, if you don't want to use the announcement okay if you don't want to use it you can just delete the file so yeah I mean you know like I said if I get enough people interested uh, you know Please either shoot me an email or post a, a comment saying, yes, I'm interested. And I may do a step-by-step -step build video. Now, if you're not into you know, building this, I do have at my store other interface boards you can purchase. So if you uh, don't want to build this, you just want to plug and play, visit my store. That link is also in the description uh, down below. So there you have it. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.